To make text or images pop on screen, you might want to blur and darken your main footage just like this. From the edit page, open up the effects library, come down to effects, and right at the very top you'll see an adjustment clip. Drag it down onto your main timeline, then jump over to the color page. Click on Clips at the top left and make sure you're on the Adjustment clip. From here, grab your offset and bring this all the way down to darken your footage. If you want to, you can also lower the saturation to make it black and white. Then open up the Effects Library and grab the Gaussian Blur and also put that on the same node. Then jump back to the Edit page, click your Adjustment clip and you'll see these little white handles. Bring them in about a second or so. Now wherever this Adjustment clip is, it'll automatically blur and darken your footage. Throw your text or images on top of that and you're good to go. Now if you want to save it for later, give it a further click, open up the inspector, then go to file and give it a name. Go back to your media pool, click on these three little dots and then make sure you have the show power bins enabled. Click on master, then grab your blur and darken and drop it into that master power bin. Power bins are folders which are shared amongst all of your projects, so anything you put in there, you can access later. In a brand new project in my media pool, I can go to my master power bin, I've got blur and darken, drag it onto my timeline above my footage, make it the length I need it to be, and it will darken and blur any footage underneath.